Ever found yourself wondering how to make your own protein bars at home? It's not an uncommon thought, especially when you consider the pitfalls of store-bought options. Many of those shiny, conveniently packaged protein bars lining the supermarket shelves are not as healthy as they seem. They're often loaded with high levels of sugar, not to mention a laundry list of artificial ingredients that you'd need a chemistry degree to understand. And let's not even start on the price tag. Now imagine a protein bar that's not only wholesome, but also tailored to your taste buds. One that's packed with natural ingredients, low in sugar, and doesn't cost a small fortune. Sounds dreamy, right? Well, that's the beauty of making your own protein bars at home. You control the ingredients, the flavors, and the nutrition. Not to mention, the satisfaction of creating something delicious with your own two hands. So, how about we solve this dilemma together? Let's start with understanding what we need. The first step in our protein bar makeover is gathering the right ingredients. Let's dive in, shall we? First up, we have oats. A staple in many a pantry, oats are a fantastic source of complex carbohydrates. They're not just filling, but they also provide a slow release of energy, making them perfect for our protein bars. Next, we need protein powder. This is what gives our bars their muscle-building prowess. You can choose any flavor you fancy, but for our purposes today, we'll go with a classic vanilla. Then there's an ingredient that might surprise you. Black beans. Yes, you heard right, black beans. These little gems are packed full of protein and fiber, and they give our bars a beautifully moist texture. Trust me, you won't even taste them. For a touch of natural sweetness, we're going to use dates. These sweet fruits are not just a healthier alternative to refined sugar, they also bring a wealth of nutrients to the table, including potassium and magnesium. We'll also be using a bit of almond butter. Besides adding a delightful nutty flavor, almond butter acts as a binding agent in our bars, keeping everything held together. It's also a great source of healthy fats. Flax seeds are another must-have. These tiny seeds are a powerhouse of nutrition, boasting omega-3 fatty acids, fiber, and a good deal of protein. Last but not least, we're adding dark chocolate chips. Not only do they add a dash of indulgence to our protein bars, but dark chocolate is also rich in antioxidants. So, there you have it. Oats, protein powder, black beans, dates, almond butter, flax seeds, and dark chocolate chips. Each ingredient with its unique contribution to both nutrition and taste, coming together to create the ultimate homemade protein bar. Now, don't forget, this is just a basic recipe. Feel free to experiment with different ingredients. Maybe some dried fruit, coconut flakes, or even a different type of nut butter. The sky's the limit when it comes to creating your perfect protein bar. Now that we have all the ingredients, it's time to get cooking. Making your own protein bars might seem intimidating, but it's actually quite straightforward. So let's get right into it, shall we? First things first, you'll need to gather your ingredients. We discussed this in the previous scene, so you should have everything ready to go. Remember, quality is key here. The better the ingredients, the better your bars will be. Now, on to the fun part. Start by taking your oats, whether rolled or quick, and give them a quick blitz in a blender or food processor. You want them to have the consistency of flour, but don't worry if there are a few larger pieces. That will just add a bit of extra texture to your bars. Next. Add your protein powder and give everything another quick mix. This is the foundation of your protein bars and what will give you that essential energy boost. If you're feeling adventurous, you can even experiment with different flavor protein powders to switch things up. Now, let's add some moisture. Pour in your choice of liquid, be it almond milk, coconut water, or even just plain old water. You want to add just enough to bring everything together into a sticky, dough-like consistency. Then, it's time to sweeten things up a bit. Add your choice of sweetener, like honey, agave nectar, or maple syrup. Remember, a little goes a long way. You want your bars to be tasty, but not too sweet. Now comes the really fun part, adding your extras. These can be anything you like, from nuts and seeds to dried fruit or even dark chocolate chips. This is your chance to really personalize your protein bars and make them your own. Once you've mixed everything together, Press the mixture into a lined baking dish. Make sure to press down firmly so your bars hold together well. Then simply pop the dish into the fridge for a few hours to set. 
Once they're set, all that's left is to cut your bars into your desired size and shape. Remember, these are your protein bars, so you get to decide how big or small they are. And there you have it, a batch of homemade protein bars, ready to fuel your workouts or simply serve as a healthy snack. The best part is, these bars will keep for up to two weeks in the fridge. So you can make a batch on Sunday and have a healthy protein-packed snack ready to go all week long. And let's not forget the cost. By making your own protein bars, you're not only controlling what goes into them, you're also saving a significant amount of money compared to store-bought bars. So not only are you doing something good for your body, you're also doing something good for your wallet. Voila! You've just made your very own protein bars. But why should you make this a habit? Well, stick around for our next scene, where we delve into the many benefits of homemade protein bars. There are plenty of reasons why making your own protein bars is a game changer. Let's delve into the impressive benefits that come with crafting these power-packed snacks in your own kitchen. Firstly, the cost-effectiveness of homemade protein bars is undeniable. Store-bought protein bars can often be fairly pricey, especially if you're snacking on them regularly. By making your own, you control the cost, since you're buying the raw ingredients. And often these ingredients can be used in multiple batches or in other recipes, providing more bang for your buck. Secondly, making your own protein bars gives you complete control over what goes into them. Have you ever turned a store-bought protein bar around to read the ingredients and found yourself baffled by the long list of unpronounceable names? With homemade protein bars, you know exactly what you're putting into your body. No hidden sugars, no preservatives, just wholesome ingredients. Moreover, this control extends to the nutritional value. You can adjust the recipe based on your specific dietary needs or fitness goals. Need more protein? Add more nuts or seeds. Cutting down on sugar? Swap out honey for a natural sweetener? The power is in your hands. Now, let's compare these benefits to the drawbacks of store-bought protein bars. Many of them are packed with added sugars and artificial ingredients. The protein count might be high, but so is the sugar content. And the cost, as we mentioned, can quickly add up. Not to mention, you're also paying for the packaging, the marketing, and the convenience factor. So when you weigh up the benefits against the drawbacks, it becomes clear that homemade protein bars are the superior choice. They're cost-effective, they're healthier, and they're customizable. Plus, there's a certain satisfaction that comes with making your own snacks. It's empowering and fun, and it adds a personal touch to your fitness journey. So, not only are homemade protein bars better for your health and wallet, they're also quite easy to make. Tune in for the next scene where we'll be wrapping up with some key takeaways and advice for your protein bar making journey. Let's summarize what we've learned today. We've discovered the magic of homemade protein bars, a nutritious, cost-effective alternative to the store-bought variety. We delved into the world of ingredients, spotlighting the flexibility and versatility of these DIY energy bars. You can pick and choose what goes into your bars, tailoring them to your specific dietary needs and taste preferences. From oats and nuts for a hearty texture, to dried fruits and natural sweeteners like honey for a burst of flavor, the choices are endless. And let's not forget the star of the show, protein powder, which gives these bars their muscle-building power. Then we dove into the process. We've seen that making protein bars at home is not rocket science. It's as simple as mixing your ingredients, pressing the mixture into a tray, and letting it set in the refrigerator. No baking required, no fancy equipment needed. And the best part? You can whip up a batch in less than half an hour, making it a quick and easy snack option for your busy schedule. We also touched on the benefits of homemade protein bars. They're packed with wholesome, natural ingredients, devoid of the preservatives and artificial additives that often lurk in store-bought bars. They're a powerhouse of nutrition, delivering a balanced mix of protein, carbs, and healthy fats to fuel your workouts or simply keep you energized throughout the day. Plus, they're a lot easier on the wallet, costing just a fraction of what you'd pay for commercial protein bars. The key takeaway, homemade protein bars are a win-win solution. They're healthier, tastier, and cheaper than their store-bought counterparts, and they're customizable to boot. They're an excellent way to take control of your nutrition, 
knowing exactly what you're putting into your body. So, the next time you reach for a store-bought protein bar, remember, you can make a healthier, tastier and cheaper version at home. Give it a try.